President Biden's brother James is on Capitol Hill today to testify as part of the House impeachment inquiry. During the closed door meeting, Republicans leading the probe are expected to ask James Biden about whether the president was involved in any of the family's business dealings. Joe Biden's son Hunter is expected to testify next week. News Nation correspondent Joe Khalil tracking this on Capitol Hill for us. Joe. Yeah, Natasha, so James Biden has been here now for about two hours or so, uh, the beginning of what should be a long day for him, answering questions from both Democrat and Republican members of the House Oversight Committee. Let's remember why uh, he is here. This is part of the Republican-led impeachment inquiry into Joe Biden and Republicans investigating whether James and Hunter Biden, specifically their business dealings, implicate President Joe Biden in any way when it comes to uh, pay for play or influence peddling schemes, which is what Republicans have been alleging. We do have a bit of James Biden's opening statement uh, that he delivered to the committee. I want to read from it here. It says, uh, I've had a 50-year career in a variety of business ventures. Joe Biden has never had any involvement or any direct or indirect financial interest in those activities, none. He goes on to say, my intimate knowledge of my brother's personal integrity and character and my own strong ethics, I've always kept my professional life separate from our close personal relationship and I've never asked my brother to take any official action on behalf of me, my business associates or anyone else. Uh, now, this impeachment inquiry generally, you can say, has been flailing in the last couple of days, and I think that maybe puts it mildly. Last week, it was revealed that one of the key witnesses for the Republican case, someone who former Speaker Kevin McCarthy called a trusted informant, was indicted for lying to federal authorities about the very allegations he was making against Joe Biden, alleging that there was a bribe that was paid to him. So that's sort of hanging over the uh, proceedings today. Uh, still, I, I want to play what Jim Jordan said uh, in front of the cameras here just before uh, this uh, deposition started today. You tell this story in, in, in three parts, three chapters. There's, there's before Joe Biden's candidate for president, there's the time when he is candidate for president, and then there's, of course, the things that have happened, the events that have happened while he's been, been president. And I think today we're largely going to focus on that pre-candidate time. I call that the money, the business, the brand. That'll be the focus. All right. So as we mentioned, likely to be a long day here for James Biden. We also heard from Jamie Raskin, the actually only Democrat who's in that room as well. And he says that so far there is nothing that they have heard that implicates Joe Biden directly in anything. He, along with uh, a number of Democrats and the White House, maintain that this uh, there is no, no there there uh, as Republicans continue this impeachment inquiry. Uh, keeping in mind, Natasha, that next week we also expect to hear from Hunter Biden uh, behind closed doors. This may be a precursor to that deposition as well. All right, Joe Khalil, live for us on Capitol Hill with that. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.